Okay, uh, welcome to the ICT Games Daily Dollop of Maths, day 29, keeping the math skills bubbling over for year one and year two while you can't be in school. Um, uh, please be sat with an adult. Uh, please have a, paper, paper, a, club, a piece of paper and a pencil ready. And uh, please call out and join in. Okay, we're going to start with Sorcer Sorcer and we're going to do some counting in threes. Okay, join in. Three, six, nine, twelve. 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Make sure you're joining in. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Good job, guys. One more. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. All right, close your eyes. Heads down. No peeping. Open your eyes again. What number's missing? If it helps, count along as you go. Count along here. 15, 18, 21, 24. Turn to your partner. Yeah, 30. Good job, guys. Close your eyes again. Close your eyes. No peeping. Open your eyes. What number's missing? Yeah. Turn to your partner. 12. Fantastic. Okay, close your eyes. No peeping. Last one. Open your eyes again. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Yes, 24, guys. 24. Super job. And now we're going to do some counting in fives for the year ones. Let's go year ones. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And back to the start again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45, 50. Right, close your eyes. Shh. Okay. Open your eyes again. Have a look. Turn to your partner. Yes, 35, isn't it? Good job, guys. Okay, close your eyes again. No peeping. Close your eyes. What number's missing now? Open your eyes and have a look. Fantastic. 25. Close your eyes again. Have a look. Open your eyes for me. 30, 35, 40. Yeah, 45. Fantastic. You're getting good at those fives. Okay. Right, now we have been looking at taking away at subtraction, and we're going to look at another type of subtraction today. Um, there's lots of words that mean take away. There's, there's uh, take away, there's uh, minus, there's subtract and there's difference. All of them mean take away. So, um, which can get quite confusing, but the more the uh, more you get used to it, uh, the better it feels. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to look at um, some taken away math stories um, uh, and think of them as difference. Now here I've got, um, I've got Rohit, let me just write Rohit, and he's got, uh, this is Rohit, say hello Rohit, hello. And he's got nine sweets, okay? And then I've got um, uh, Mark, and this is Mark, say hello Mark. Hello. And he's got five sweets, okay? Now, I need to work out the difference between how many sweets Rohit has and how many sweets Mark has. And the difference is this bit here. That's how different they are. And you can write it as a math story like this. Nine, take away five equals mm. Nine, take away that five equals that number there, okay? It's the difference between nine and five, okay? Now, another way we can do it is we could, we could think of it as uh, drawing all, we could draw the nine sweets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's the nine sweets. And we could cross out how many sweets um, Mark has. So I'm gonna cross, how many sweets has Mark got? Yeah, five, one, two, three, four, five. How many does that leave? Yeah, that leaves four. So the difference between nine and five is this bit here, which is four. Another way I could do it is I could think of the facts that I know for nine. If I know that 
if I'm going to uh, make nine, if I'm going to make nine out of two numbers, I know that if I've already got five, what's the other number? It's four. That would also give me the answer to nine. Take away five. Okay, let's try another one. Right, so we've got here. Let's have a look. We've got uh, this is George, and he's say hello, George. Hello. You're always spiky here. And this uh, is Phoebe. Say hello, Phoebe. Hello. Right now, Phoebe's got four sweets, and George has got seven. Okay. And we're going to find out the difference between how many sweets George has got and how many sweets Phoebe's got. And this number here is the difference. The difference between 7 and 4. We can write difference like that. 7 minus 4 equals, or 7 take away 4 equals, or 7 subtract 4 equals. Okay. Now, let's have a look. One way we can do this is we can draw 7 sweets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and cross them out. That's one way. Let's cross out how many sweets George's, uh, sorry, Phoebe's got. One, two, three, four. How many does that leave? That leaves three. Another way we can do it is we can think, well, actually, I know some facts for seven, and if I've already got four, what's the other number I've got? That's three. Both of those ways would also give you the answer. Okay, so the difference between seven and four is three. Now I've got a game along those lines called Twilight Takeaway. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, the uh, easiest level is numbers up to twenty. You uh, press on the next button, and the, uh, you've got the green fireflies and the yellow fireflies. Okay, now the yellow fireflies collected nine grams of fairy dust. The green fireflies collected three grams of fairy dust. How much more fairy dust did the yellow fireflies collect? How much more do they collect? And it's this bar here, okay? Well, uh, then what I do is I think about nine, and I think, well, what facts do I know for nine? Three and what make nine? Three and six. I press enter. Then the fireflies make me a little, oh yeah, I got it right, make me a tick. Fantastic. Here comes the next one. See if you can work this one out this time. So yellow fireflies and green fireflies. Right, there were 13 from the yellows, one uh, gram of fairy dust from the uh, green fireflies. What's the difference? How, many, how much more did the yellow get than the green? You could write that on a piece of paper. You could do a um, uh, part part whole with 13 in a circle. Let's do, let's do that. Let's do 13 in there, one in there. How many is going to be in this one? Take a moment to think about it. Yeah, 12. Let's try 12. So there we go. Do we get it right? Yeah, we did. Fantastic, guys. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, what have we got now? So the yellow's got eight and the green's got four. What's the difference? How many more grams did the um, yellows get than the greens? Well, we know that one. It's part of your doubling and half facts, isn't it? What's it going to be? Don't you partner? Yeah, four. So what I'll do, guys, I'll put that um, a link to that in the uh, underneath this video. So you can have a go at that if you fancy it. So now uh, we're gonna, the last thing we're going to do year ones for you is we need to take out a piece of paper and can you write 28 take away 14 as a vertical please? Write that as a vertical. You might want to pause the video. Okay, let's do that together. And I'm not, I'm not going to do it on here first. I'm going to do it as part, part, whole um, just to get our understanding going. So we've got 28. I'm sorry, I better just check. Take away 14. Take away 14. Okay. So first I'm going to make 28. That's all. Oh, sorry, I've got to take my, make 8. That's going to take me ages. Sorry. Okay. Give me a 
bit tidy. Okay, where do we start? What do we take away first? Change partner, what do we take away first? Yeah, the wands. So how many wands are we taking away? That's it. Four. So I'll take away four. I'll make it look like four. Okay. And how many tens are we taking away? Yeah, just the one ten, just ten. Fantastic. What does that leave? What's the answer going to be? Tension partner. It is 14. Yeah, and now we're hoping that's what we'll get over here on the um, uh, vertical. So let's find out if that happens on the vertical. Eight, take away four. One, two, three, four. That leaves four. 20, 20, take away 10. Leaves uh, 110, which is 14. So 28 take away 14 equals 14. That's what, is that what we got? Have a look. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Right. Um, uh, let's have a look. Let's do one more. Last one, year ones. Let's have a look. Okay. 43 take away 13. Pause the video and write that out as a vertical for me. 43 take away 13. Okay, I'm going to do that as a part, part, whole first. 43, take away 13. Okay, I need to make 43 over here. Uh, how many tens am I going to need? Yeah, four tens. And how many ones am I going to need? Yeah, three. Fantastic. Okay, let's do that. Okay, now where do I start? What do I take away first? Yeah, the three. Three ones. Okay. What else have I got to take away? Oh, yeah, the tens. Take that one away. That ten away. Okay. What does that leave? How much have I got here? Yes. Thirty. Fantastic. So we think forty-three take away thirteen is thirty. Let's see if we get that with our vertical. So first of all we start at the ones. And we've got to take away three. One, two, three, and then we carry on to the tens. Uh, we've got 40, take away 10. Just take away one 10. That leaves 30. 43, take away 13 equals 30. Is that what we got? Yes, it is. Gosh, that's fantastic. Right, now, uh, year ones. Uh, so if you want to carry on and see the next bit, you can. But um, we, we can stop there uh, for year ones. So your prize today, year ones, is you get glitter ball glasses. Now, a clever thing about when you put on glitter ball glasses is as soon as you put them on, you get disco music and you get a glitter ball hanging from the ceiling and lights flashing all around the room so you can put your music on and have a dance. OK, right, uh, we're going to carry on now. Year twos. We're going to carry on. We're going to do some tricky columns work. OK. Uh, year twos, can you pause the video and write this calculation out as a vertical? Write that one out as a vertical for me. OK. Now, I'm not going to do it. Uh, you, sorry, I'll just show you what it looks like. I'm not going to calculate it yet, though, because I want to do it as a part, part, whole to, to work on our understanding of what's happening. OK, so let me just remember what it was. 44, take away 36. 44, take away 36. OK, I'm going to make 44 first. Uh, and I'm sorry that you have to wait while I do that. Oh, that's funny, isn't it? It's the same for both. OK. Right, now, we're going to take away... 36. I just, I tell you what, I'm just going to move things up a little bit just to make myself a little bit more room. Now, hang on. Take away six. That's impossible. But we can make the impossible possible because what we're going to do is we're going to unpack one of these tens. Okay. So I'm going to unpack that. And that means now I've got 10 here, add four. I'm going to take 14. Take away six. Here's my 14. I'm going to take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. OK, so I've taken away the six. Now I've got to take away the tens, which is 30, um, 10, oops, 20, 30. How many does that leave? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So 44 take away 36 is 8. Remember we had, um, when we before we took them away, we had um, 14, didn't we? Okay, so let's just remember, uh, before we took away 36, there was, when we unpacked it, we had 14. Let's have a look here. 4 take away 6. Hang on, that's impossible. But we can make the impossible possible by unpacking the T. Look, there's that 14 that we talked about. And we've crossed out this 40 and made it 30. And now we're doing the 14 take away 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That leaves 8. And then we're doing the 30 take away 30. That leaves 0, but you don't write a 0 there because you don't need a placeholder because there's no numbers here. OK, so the answer is 8. Is that what we got before? Yes, it is. Look, that's what we got before. We got 8 before. OK, one more time. Let's do one more. One more, no more. OK, we're going to do 34 take away 17. Right, so can you write that as a, as a column, a column subtraction for me, as a vertical? Can you write that as a vertical for me? Pause the video and write it as a vertical. OK, so it should look like that. And we're going to come across a problem here because 4 take away 7 is impossible. But we're going to make the impossible possible. So let's do 34 take away 17. I'm going to go back to my part, part, whole. It was, let me just check, it was 34 take away 17. OK, so I'm going to make my 34. OK. Actually, I'm going to have them a bit out of the way a little bit. So make myself a little bit more room. OK. And I'm taking away 17. Now, first of all, we've got to start at the ones. Now, that's impossible. We can't do 4 take away 7. So we're going to unpack one of these 10s. Now, just before we move on, we've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Just remember that we had 14 when we come to the vertical, because you'll see it's very similar. OK. Right. So now we can take away 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven. Then we've got to take away 10. Now we've got 17 over here. What does that leave over here? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, 17. <laughs> Fantastic. Double 17. Who knew? Right now, OK, so we're going to go back to our vertical. Now, just, sorry, before, when we unpack the T, do you remember, uh, sorry, unpack, unpack that 10, do you remember it was 14? See if that happens again. OK, 4 take away 7. That's impossible. But we can make the impossible possible. We can unpack that 10. Look, 14. That's where that 14 comes from. 14 take away 7. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Leave 7, because we know that, because half of 14 is 7. Now we're doing... Now, because we've crossed out the 30 and moved it down to 20, if we take away... Well, now we're taking away 110. That'll leave us 110. So the answer is 17. 34 take away 17 is 17. If we go back to the um, part, part, whole, look, it's 17. Oh, that's good. My word. Fantastic job, guys. OK, so if you want to, you've got the Twilight Takeaway type game to have a go at. Um, or uh, leave it on... Leave, um, uh, vertical subtraction on tricky columns and have a go at a few vertical takeaways again with tricky columns uh, and love your mistakes guys and you get your prize so you get the glitter ball glasses so you can put your glitter ball glasses on and then it makes a glitter ball come out of the ceiling and disco lights flashing good job guys see you next time